Frieza will be making another return in the Universal Survival Arc in Dragon Ball Super, and he'll be fighting alongside none other than Universe 7. So a lot of you guys may know this already, but Frieza will be making a return in Dragon Ball Super in the Universal Survival Arc. And he'll be fighting alongside Goku, Vegeta, and all the other Z Fighters. But sadly, for a lot of Majin Buu fans out there, such as me, I really wanted to see how far Buu actually came when he trained. So I feel like his training wasn't in vain. I feel like they're going to do something with Majin Buu. There's no reason they would just show him get really beastly powerful if they're not going to do anything with it. So there could be a twist with that. So all you Majin Buu fans out there, don't be disappointed. Because Majin Buu will do something. I, I'm calling it right now. But, back on the real subject of Frieza. Frieza will be returning. And, I think this is a very genius move in Dragon Ball Super. Whoever finalized this in writing Dragon Ball Super, they are a genius. I don't know if it's a Kira Toyo or anybody else. But this will be the second time they bring back Frieza. And, if they're going to be bringing back Frieza twice, that means Frieza must have a significant role in the future of Dragon Ball Super. But what's great about this is, Frieza is one of the few enemies that they have fought in Dragon Ball that has never turned a new leaf. Like, everybody, including Vegeta, has went from very, very bad and ruthless to a brand new, more righteous, righteous man. But either way, Frieza's back. I don't know how this is going to affect the tournament, but what I do know is there's two ways this could go. Either Frieza could turn a new leaf and do something very awesome that we have never seen Frieza do before, or either he's just going to backstab uh, Goku or the Universe 7 and like get their universe destroyed. I could definitely see that happening. Or if somehow Frieza gets like insanely strong and wants to like take over all the universes. Like I mentioned in my video today, like what if the tournament turned into like everybody versus one person, even though I don't think Frieza has that type of power yet. But that's my thoughts on Frieza coming back. Also, one thing I'd like to mention is there are some people sad about them bringing Frieza back. They think they should have brought, like, Cell back or something. In my opinion, I think that would be kind of lame because, I mean, we all know Frieza is the biggest villain in Dragon Ball. And either way, Frieza was definitely the best choice because he's leagues above Perfect Cell where he left off. And there's no way Cell could even get close to their level. And with Majin Buu dropping out of the tournament, they need someone that can pick up Majin Buu's strength. And the, ne the closest person is Frieza. Obviously, we know Majin Buu was weaker than Frieza until he trained. I'm not sure if Majin Buu was stronger than Frieza after he trained, but I want to say Majin Buu was stronger than Frieza after he trained. But we don't know that yet, and we might never know if that's the truth. But that's my thoughts on this turn of events with Frieza Man. So if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Frieza!